And on top of reduced work hours, the nature of work is also changing fast. We've been seeing the rise of the so-called gig economy, while more people are finding work-life balance. And now a growing number of workers here in Korea are choosing to take on second jobs. Our Oh Soo Young tells us why. 32-year-old Moon is a sales employee by day. But from 6 p.m. onwards, he is a skateboarding instructor. Using an online platform to match teachers with students, Moon makes anywhere between 20 and 100% of his monthly wage from teaching skateboarding. And he also gets to share his passion with students from a wide range of ages and backgrounds. Teaching others and sharing with them what I love gives me a real sense of accomplishment. And the fact that it's good exercise helps me feel refreshed rather than wear me out after work. Doing my desk job and teaching skateboarding really gives me the best of both worlds. Teaching how to skateboard is just one example of how Koreans in their 20s and 30s are increasingly taking on side jobs after work, not just for the extra paycheck, but also to pursue their passion and share their skills with others. College instructor Kang Tejin teaches leadership at a university in Incheon, but during his free time, he works as a professional translator. Given the long summer and winter holidays in the academic year, it's a way of stabilizing his income through meaningful tasks. Being able to work on uh, different kinds of projects or um, uh, being able to see different uh, movies or uh, dramas that I've translated on air, I, I, I find that very fulfilling. Kang has been using an online platform where clients can send a request for professional services in diverse areas from marketing and programming solutions to makeup and drawing classes. Nine out of ten experts on our platform are working second jobs. In the past, people weren't so open about taking side jobs, but now, with online platforms such as ours, there is an active marketplace where you can easily find work that you can do. South Korea's 52-hour workweek policy, which went into effect last year, has also increased the number of people seeking side jobs, according to Park. The trend is also seen as a part of the global shift towards the gig economy, as work conditions become more fluid and flexible in the era of the fourth industrial revolution. Oh Soo Young, Arirang News.